headed down to the hotel gym to get a little weekend workout in Friday morning. Down in Dakota tried to do, well, they did do uh, one minute tips and tricks while I was gone. And it's a lot harder than it looks. I mean, most of our videos we kind of script out. So we're, we know exactly what we're saying and everything. But the one minute tips and tricks is live. No reading, not really a whole lot of rehearsing. So it's kind of just go with the flow. But it's definitely a learning process. But like I said earlier, the best thing about doing Facebook Live videos is that everyone gets a notification saying that we're live. So it's a great way to grab the attention of your audience. I also think that people really like the authenticity of live videos because they know that as they're watching it or even if they watch the replay, that that was actually a live, um, uncut, unedited video kind of makes it a little bit more personal. And that's what we're really focusing on, especially with our audience, is building trust. Um, we have a little bit of an older audience, so trust is a huge concern for them. So we're just trying out these types of things to build that trust. So I didn't get to posting an episode about just Friday, um, so I'm kind of doubling up this Friday and Saturday episode just because I didn't want to put something out that didn't really have um, anything super valuable. But I really just want to touch on a thought that I was having about our post that got shared a lot, the uh, five steps to catching a uh, fake Facebook account post. Our reach is up around 80,000 people right now. And I was doing a little calculation on if I were to boost that post, how much it would cost me to get that reach. And it's right up around $800 to $1,000. So essentially we made a video that's worth $800 um, in advertising money, which is pretty crazy to think about. Um, if you're someone who's considering doing like Facebook ads to build your page or to build your business or whatever, I spend a lot of time messaging pages. I was doing that again last night. I probably sent 20 to 30 pages, an email and a message, kind of telling them about what we're doing, reaching out, seeing what I can do to give them value and provide value to them. But I personally believe now, just from experience, that it's a lot more worth your time to spend a lot of your time promoting what you're doing to similar audiences instead of spending money on advertising, especially early on. I mean, we're not monetizing right now, so there's really zero reason for me even to run an ad because I have no return um, on that investment. But by reaching out and by networking, we're able to build, I'm kind of building, I guess you could say, a little core group of pages that like what we're doing and who support what we're doing so that we can kind of piggyback with them to grow over the next few months. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm providing value for them and providing stuff that their audience needs. I know that not every one of our videos is gonna reach a thousand people, I mean, get shared a thousand times or reach 80,000 people. But as long as we're reaching out to those pages and being mindful of what their audience needs, we're going to be able to get ideas that do have the poten potential to be shared on a very large scale, which is going to help us grow um, faster and more effectively. So just remember, 
If you are considering doing ads and you're early on, if you're doing something kind of like this where you're just providing information, you don't really have a product, if you have a product, you can kind of get a return on your advertising dollars. But if not, spend a lot of your time trying to promote what you're doing to similar pages, audiences, channels, whatever you're doing to see what you can do to collaborate. Because I think that's going to be better for you in the short term. It's, it's working out for us, that's for sure.